Hi, thanks for tuning in to the Riverbed Support YouTube channel. My name is Gavin Garley and today we're going to talk about domain join basics. We're going to have a quick overview of the domain join process. We'll review some of the options that you need to consider based off your environment variables. We'll provide additional resources that you can review in regards to domain integration. And finally, we'll demo the basic steps for domain join. You'll need to domain join any server-side device if you're trying to optimize Layer 7 for SMB 1, 2, 3, and MAPI protocols. You will need a valid DNS server that you will set in the host settings. We'll show that in the lab. The time of the device must also be in sync with the domain controller. You'll need the appropriate domain user permissions required for the account type selection you choose. If SMB v1 has been disabled in your environment for security reasons, please see Article S30252. It's worth pointing out that the steps for domain join are the same between Steelhead CX, Steelhead EX, and Steel Fusion Edge devices. To do a domain join, you'll navigate to the Optimization, Active Directory, Domain Join page. The first two options you'll, be ch you'll choose from will be either Workgroup Settings or Domain Settings. The local workgroup settings are largely deprecated. You will likely be using the Domain Settings. The next, uh, the next item you'll need to enter is going to be the Active Directory Domain Name Realm. That's the FQDN of your domain name. The primary DNS IP is populated from the host settings configuration. Now you need to decide what account type is appropriate for your environment. If you are running in a Windows 2008 and later domain, we highly recommend using Active Directory Integrated Windows 2008 and later. If you do not join Active Directory Integrated Windows 2008 and later mode and you choose either Workstation or Active Directory Integrated Windows 2003, you'll have additional administrative overhead requirements in order to get optimization at Layer 7 to work. Next, you'll have your domain login and password. In the case of Active Directory Integrated Windows 2008 and later, you will need domain administrator privileges. Keep in mind that inserting that information here is simply for the process of a domain join. We do not retain this account information cache it in any way or use it for any further operations. That's what the computer account for is for that we're generating in the background. Next you can set your domain controller name. You want to make sure that the device is pointed to the local domain controller resource. And finally the short domain name is the NetBIOS name of your domain. Here's some additional resources that would be worth reading. The RODC FAC discusses the read-only domain controller permissions of the account if you choose Windows 2008 and later. The next article, 25759, is referencing how to configure Kerberos end-to-end -end authentication. UNC hardening is covered in S26185. The next article, S22049, is the Windows Qualification Guide you would want to reference this guide to determine what version of Rios you need to be running depending on the version of Windows OS's that you want to optimize. S22110 is a discussion on domain latency. Again, you want to make sure you point your device to a local domain controller resource. And finally, the AD Replication Best Practices, Article S20240. Once enabling optimization, if you have any issues with Active Directory replication, this is the article that you want to refer to. And now on to the demo. Alright, so here we are in our lab. The first thing we're going to take a look at is our host settings. So here I've got my primary DNS server set to 1.1.1.5 and my DNS domain list has my domain name nh2k8dom.lab So now we'll go to optimization under Active Directory choose domain join and 
at the top here as I said before the local workgroup settings largely deprecated you will not likely be using it we'll be using the domain settings option Active Directory domain name and realm will be your fully qualified domain name the primary DNS IP shows up here from the host settings 1.1.1.5 Here's your join account type option. We highly recommend Active Directory Integrated Windows 2008 and later if that is appropriate for your domain type. Administrative, administrative account. to my local domain resource. In this case, it's the same as my DNS server. And then the short name for the domain. All right, let's join the domain. All right, and you can see now that our domain mode status is in the domain. Now you can continue with configuring your layer 7 optimization for either SMB1, SMB23, or MAPI.